Hello friends. In this session, we'll discuss about given binary tree, how to implement zigzag level order traversal. This is one of the common interview question in any product based company. So here is an input binary tree an expected output. And the output is in such a format that it is list of list. Each list represent one level. They are giving output in this way. What we do, we simply print data based on zigzag level order traversal. Now let's understand what is zigzag level order traversal. In normal level order traversal, we always traverse from left to right, irrespective of which level we are. The direction is common, which is left to right for all levels. We always start with root node which is 1 and then again left to right in level 1 which is 2, 3. In the next level again we will start with left side 7, 6, 5, 4 and it continues in the same level 9, 8. So this is level order tra traversal in a normal way. Now what is zigzag level order traversal? It is slightly different from what we have seen. The direction will change based on each level. Initially, we will start with left to right. On level 0, we will start with left to right. We will print 1. But when we come to level 1, we will shift the direction. On level 0, we were traversing from left to right. But on level 1, we will traverse from right to left. That means, 3, 2. Again, when we are moving to next level, which is 2, we will shift the direction. Here, we were on right to left, but here in this level, we will do left to right. So, 7, 6, 5, 4. While moving to next level, again, direction will change, which is right to level right to left 8 9 so this is called zigzag level order traversal or spiral level order traversal now what is our approach what is an uh, what is our algorithm to implement zigzag level order traversal let's discuss in order to solve this problem we'll take help of two stacks yes one yes two First, we'll start with root node. We'll add root node into S1 stack. Now, once we add it, we will iterate through this stack until the stack is empty. During this iteration, on each iteration, we'll pop out an element from S1. Let's say first we popped out first node, which is 1. Now, we will print this node value, we will print here. After printing this, we will take the children of this node and push it to stack S2. Remember that the direction or the children left or right, how we are going to add into S2 is very important. In this case, I will start with left to right. So first I will add 2 and then I will add 3. Why left to right? Because after level 0, in level 1, we have to traverse from right to left. Since it is a stack which is first in, last out. Last in, first out. So we want 3, node 3 has to come out first. That is why we added last. Now we are done with level 0 and the stack also empty. Now what we need to do since S1 is empty, we will move to S2. Now we will iterate through stack 2 until the stack is empty. In each iteration, we will pop out one node at a time. Now let us say we will pop out a node which is a node with value 3, 
print it first and push it children to s1 stack remember that the direction change is required in the last traversal we did from left to right this traversal we will do right to left that means we will push right node first right child first and then left child so four and five now we'll pop out next element which is two print its value again since we are in same level we'll follow the same direction we'll push six and we'll push seven now we are done with this and this stack is empty now we'll move back to this stack and we'll do iterations until stack s1 is empty we'll pop out an element which is a node with value 7 print the value now push its children to stack s2 and remember there is a change in direction because there is a change in level now but 7 is leaf node there is nothing to push to stack s2 so again pop out an element print it first then look does it has any children no it's a leaf node then again pop out next element which is 5 now take out its children there is a direction change we need to move from left to right previously we moved from right to left but 5 has only one child which is left child so we'll just push it to stack s2 oh before that we need to print it i forgot that okay so now we are done with five pop out next element which is four print the value and then push its element from left to right into stack s2 it has again one child which will push it here and we are done with all iterations and stack s1 also empty now what we do we'll go to s2 we'll iterate until stack is empty pop out a node which is a node with value 8 print it since it's a leaf node there is nothing to push to stack s1 pop out next element print it since it's a leaf node it does not have anything to push to stack s1 now both stacks are empty we are done with the traversal now if you look at this is the initial drafted expected output and as per our approach it is exactly matching with expected output so in our algorithm we will see here our stacks are s1 s2 but in our our algorithms will say that this is current level and this is next level now once the stack is empty that means every time we iterate through a stack once the stack is empty we will flip these two stacks that means initially s1 is marked as current level and s2 is marked as next level after level change we will flip the tags that is s2 became current level s1 became next level also we will maintain a flag in order to indicate which direction we need to read children given node children is it left to right or right to left now we will write a code according to our discussion in order to save some time i have created a skeleton code already created a new class zigzag tree traversal and created inner static class called node which represent binary tree node it has a field called data 
node references to represent children left and right a constructor to create an object for node which takes some data as an input and which will be assigned to data member variable now a static node reference a class level variable which is called root in binary everything every traversal starts with a root node so in order to keep track of root node reference we have created this variable now we are going to implement a method called zigzag traversal here we will write our code so now first we will check is root node null or not if root double equal to null the tree is empty there is no node exist we will just return so now we will declare our stacks two stacks one is current level another one is next level stack which is of node type current level similarly we will declare another stack which is next level so now we also declare a boolean which indicates the direction initially i mean we will name it left to right and by default we will make it true now first we will push the root node to current level stack we pushed root so now we will iterate through current level stack until it is empty we will use a while loop while current level is not empty we will iterate through this while loop internally we are going to use another while loop why are we using it i will explain little later now let's declare another while loop the condition is again same current level is not empty ideally once we are done with one level we need to shift the levels i mean we need to shift the directions we need to shift or uh, we need to flip the stacks so we do all those logic outside this while loop now let's put what are we going to do in this internal while loop as discussed the first step is pop out the node so now node equal to current level dot pop so now first print the value system dot out dot print node dot data and space will be delimiter we are going to display the traversal data in a single line so space will act as a delimiter once this is done we need to push its children to next level now in which direction are we going to push will be decided based on flag we declared left to right so now what we do if flag left to right is true will follow one direction else will follow another direction so now here we also has to check whether given node is leaf node or not whether checking if if this node is leaf node or not it is better if we can write a helper method and there we'll push it so we'll write a simple help helper method which returns nothing add node and it's going to take a stack which is supposed to where we supposed to push the node and the node supposed to be pushed now here what we do we simply check is node not equal to null then we'll push it to stack so now here 
we'll call this method add node will pass next level as a stack reference and first it's a left to right so node dot left first similarly we'll push right now in other side i mean uh, in else block it will be exactly opposite there is a direction change first we'll put right child and then we'll put left child so now we are done with our steps within while loop iteration so this while loop will indicate one level each level on a given binary tree it reads from a stack until it is empty pops out each node and reads its children based on the direction the flag indicates it will push it into next level now what we need to do we need to flip the stacks the current level stack became next level next level stack became current level and also we need to change the direction that means currently it is true just make it opposite so here what we do will make an opposite so if it is true it's false if it is false it's became true now we need to flip the stack so take a temporary stack of node type and point current level now current level is going to point to next level assign temp to next level so we are done with our code i have already placed a main method code to save some time created a class reference for zigzag tree traversal and kept node i mean binary tree structure already by creating tree references and we are making a call to zigzag traversal now let's run the code and see the output so here is the output in zigzag way thanks for watching please like the video please subscribe to the channel